of Furore. But in the backlash over MPs' expenses, the BNP is hoping to win seats in seven European constituencies in next week's elections. Its main targets are in the northwest, where Mr Griffin could win if his party can leap from 6.4% of the vote they won last time to 9%. In the West Midlands, the BNP need to gain 8% to 11%, whilst in London they need to increase from 4% to 9% of the vote to have any chance of taking the seat. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Andy Davis, has been to Manchester to find out the level of BNP support. What a shocking sight it is, eh? It certainly lacked the charm of an Athenian comedy of old, but with its masked chorus of BNP activists pockets dripping with cash, the point was clearly made. The MP's expenses scandal has provided the BNP with a golden propaganda opportunity, and fueled by its mantra of punish the pigs, the party thinks it's about to step onto the European political stage for the very first time. It is in the northwest of England that the BNP believes it has perhaps its greatest opportunity of winning a seat its first ever in next week's European elections. And this is exactly the sort of place that the BNP has been targeting. Moston in North Manchester. For generations this has been a predominantly white working class Labour stronghold. But the Labour Party right now is distinctly vulnerable here and the BNP knows it. Get in every part of North Manchester. BNP. BNP. Right, I voted Labour all my life. But now he might vote BNP. The poster actually hangs within the boundary walls of the local Labour Party club and no one has yet taken it down. Why is it still up? Well, you tell me. All the members down there of Labour are starting to think BNP themselves, you know. So, I'm not a racist person. But they've told me certain things which is quite frightening. Who's told you? Members of the BNP party. The community secretary, Hazel Blair, said recently that the BNP had got into anti-politics and was tapping into a very resonant public mood. Others we spoke to in Moston today said they wouldn't vote BNP, but there was no doubting their mood when it came to views on the current political establishment. I'm sick to death of being, paying out for prisons, I'm sick of um, paying out for people who are on the dole, that can't be bothered getting off their asses and working. I'm, I'm absolutely, do you know what, I'd be better off not working. At Westminster today, the BNP leader, Nick Griffin, announced he would not be joining the BNP's London Assembly member as his guest at a Buckingham Palace garden party. He didn't want to cause the Queen embarrassment, he said. The far right has come a long way strategically since the days of the 1970s when it espoused an overtly racist agenda. But many view the new look as purely cosmetic. In Manchester recently, the BNP launched its European elections campaign. We spoke to a new recruit, a former Labour voter, about the issue of racism and the BNP. It took me a long, hard thought before I, I, I went to the BNP because the racist stigma affected me. I, I am not a racist, I never will be a racist. Neither am I a fascist, neither am I a Nazi. I'm just an ordinary hard-working British person who's had enough of them. I've had enough, enough is enough, and I have had enough.